Hi there, today we are going to make a custom rich text effect, just like the one you see on screen now. So I've set up a very basic scene with a control node and a rich text label as a child of that. The only thing I've changed with the rich text label is I have enabled BB code. I've written some text in here and down here I have set the clip content to off. So with that in mind, we're going to make a new rich text effect resource. To do that, we're going to go up to the top right here and we're just gonna make a script and click create. Okay, now this will extend the rich text effect resource. We're also going to give it a class name. So the editor is aware of it and we can choose it from the top down menu. I'll show you how it works in a minute. So we're gonna call this our custom effect. You can call it whatever you like. I'm just gonna call it rich text hover. The next thing we're going to do is add a name for our hover effect. Now this is what the BB code is going to look for when we add it into the BB code text. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna call it hover. Now we have a name for our custom effect. We're going to start working on the logic. So to do that, we're going to use the process custom effects function. This is an inbuilt function in the rich text effect class. I'm gonna control and left click on the rich text effect. Now if I scroll down here, this is the method that we're gonna override. And we're gonna use properties from the character effects to manipulate that specific character. So let's have a look at this character FX transform by holding control and left clicking. Let's see what we can manipulate. Now today in our custom effect, we're mostly focusing on offset, but you can have a look at some of these other values as well, see what you can manipulate. But for this basic example, we are going to go back to our script, which isn't quite saved yet. The first thing we're going to define is the speed of which the hover actually moves. So I'm not gonna type, I'm not gonna put you through that. I'm just gonna copy and paste that. So I'm gonna call it speed. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the environment of the BB code, and we're gonna search for this speed variable or argument that we put in there. As a default, we set it to five. So let's set a new variable, which is going to be offset, and this is going to be a vector two. At the minute, we'll just set it to zero, zero, so the character isn't going to move. And then we're going to set our character fx offset equal to this offset. Fantastic. I'm gonna give this a save. I'm actually gonna go up here to the top right. I'm gonna click save as, and this is, we'll just call it custom hover effect. It doesn't matter too much what you call it because we're gonna use this class name to reference it. The only thing we need to do now is make sure we return true in this function. This is a requirement and if we don't return true, then it won't work. Now that's done. What I'm going to do is add the tool keyword to the top here. And this will allow this effect to run in the editor so we can see what's going on. Speaking of, I'm actually gonna set the Y value to 20, just so we know it's working. So let's add it to our rich text label. To do that, we're gonna to go to the left here. We're gonna to click to bring up the properties and just above BB code, uh, I'm just gonna expand this for you. In custom effects, we're going to increase the size of this to one. And we're gonna click this drop down menu and click new rich text hover which is our hover effect. So hopefully, once we open our square brackets and put hover in, there we go. We can see that our hover effect is in effect. And this has moved everything 20 pixels down in the Y axis. So let's close out this hover effect here, uh, slash hover. There we go, we've just isolated this rich text word here. So let's make this more interesting. Let's go back to the script and start changing this around. I'm just gonna go up here and expand this so we've got more room to work with. Now you may remember in charfx, there is a value we can use and that is elapsed time. So let's do that now. If I just put charfx dot elapsed time, let's see what happens in the 2D view using this value right now. So I'm just gonna click up here and you can see very slowly, the rich text effect is actually moving in the Y axis. Okay, that's not very useful to us. So we are going to use the sign function instead. Okay, and we're gonna pass the elapsed time into the sign function. So let's see what happens there with the sign function. You can see very slowly, it is oscillating up and down as the sign function does from minus one to one. Let's increase this a little bit. So first of all, let's change the speed. If we times this by the speed that we've got here, then this should increase it by five, which is the default. So let's have a look. And that's not too bad. That's definitely quicker. So let's change the speed using our BB code. I'm just gonna come out of this expanded view here. 
And because we have the speed parameter, we can actually use it here. So let's set the speed equal to 100. So that works as well. And you can add as many parameters as you want in the same way. And there we have it, our custom hover effect, which we can use in BB code. Again, you can alter other values such as color and even if the character is visible by going into the script and changing things here like we did with the offset. I'll leave that to you to experiment. I'd love to see any effects that you come up with. So if you do come up with some, send them my way. But with that, thanks for watching. A big thank you to my Patreon supporters, Brad S and SP Kinger. You are awesome. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.